Really, when he stood as a candidate in a seat which my party, the Liberal Democrats, never thought we would win. Um, and it was an astonishing uh, transformation from Eric, then a very quiet, uh, non-political person. Um, by the time he reached his 80th birthday, he made a speech saying, he, in the next 10 years, I promise to be more awkward than I have been so far. And he did until he, he went. I, I just want briefly to say, both as a Liberal Democrat and as someone who spent a lot of time working with Turks in Turkish politics, how much we value the positive role of the Kurdish community in Britain. Uh, and I think you probably also understand that it's very difficult for any member of the British Parliament to say no when Ibrahim Dogos asks you to do something. Um, we uh, all regret bitterly what is happening now in Turkish politics. I was in Istanbul four weeks ago. Turkish professors with whom I've worked for many years wondering whether they would still be in their jobs in two or three weeks' time. Uh, what is happening with the media, with Zaman, as well as what is happening with the Kurdish and other minorities is deeply depressing and we all have to stand up and criticize what is going there. Across the Middle East, we do not now know what the net latest Russian uh, decision means, but we, we are sure that we will have more disorder, more uh, fighting between different factions, uh, and more refugees. You as a community within Britain have a, a very positive role to play in the next few months, in which a lot of people within Britain will be saying, we ought to leave the rest of the world and just close down our borders and hold to ourselves. Well, you're here, you're part of Britain, and in that role, we want you to say to all of your neighbors, you can't shut off the outside world. In the Roman Empire, if you look at who was on Hadrian's Wall, there were people who recruited from Libya and what is now Anatolia. Uh, so we haven't actually been cut off from Europe for the last 2,000 years. Um, we all now understand that when things go badly wrong across North Africa and the Middle East, desperate people try to get here. Some of you came that route yourselves. So while you are contributing to the British economy, to British society, and in a number of cases, which I benefited from, to the quality of British eating out. Um, please also remind us that we have to be an open and international society, welcome for all, all faiths, all varieties of each faith, and that that feeds back into the way in which we cope with the tremendous problems of Turkey and the Middle East, which are not going to go away, and in which the Kurds find themselves on several different battlefronts. Happy Nevroz, good to see you all here. We look forward uh, to working with many of you uh, from now on as well, and I certainly look forward to learning much more about the Middle East from many of my friends in the Kurdish community. Thank you.